um, effect of the vibration frequency on flow curves. This uh, set of data is obtained uh, with a rheometer, a uh, actually parallel plate rheometer uh, on cooling. They are called also uh, NFL, not football, um, but uh, known no flow curve. Uh, very useful for simulation uh, when performing um, uh, mold flow. Uh, there are viscosity versus temperature. Temperature is uh, slowly uh, uh, decreasing at uh, one degree C per minute. Uh, and the uh, frequency, the radial frequency of vibration, this is done at 5% strain in the varial, uh, and then in during cooling, omega, the radial frequency, is constant. Constant to what value? Well, it's why there are uh, several curves. It's equal to 1 on the yellow top curve, 10 on the pink one, 100 on the, uh, on the yellow diamond, uh, symbol uh, one and uh, the green is 251 and hardly seen here at 500 is the uh, 500 radio per second it's a red curve in fact we see this a bit better on slide two um, which is the same curve but uh, zooming in in the region of 500 so that it's it appears visible now we see that um, uh, uh, viscosity for a given uh, temperature is as much less as we increase frequency. This is known phenomenon as shear thinning. So basically, this is a, re a plot uh, uh, differently since omega is constant and temperature varies this time. So if we were to take a formula such as the Caro equation and plot it so that omega remains constant but temperature varies uh, such as in a WLF type we would get uh, something which should look like this graph in the previous one okay I'm uh, I'm quickly uh, browsing through the next slide which uh, describes the apparent viscosity versus the apparent strain rate without any type of correction in a case uh, in the case of a capillary flow um, and I, I didn't say it for the previous two slides but this is on the same grade a high flow grade actually MFI equals 65 uh, from General Electric uh, polycarbonate uh, grade using in uh, the production of compact discs, CD-ROMs, etc. Uh, visual uh, uh, visual support devices. And uh, one sees here uh, this is plotted as a log log plot. Uh, same tendency for viscosity to plateau in the Newtonian region. Uh, uh, when plotted uh, versus omega or uh, when plotted uh, versus the strain rate and here this is done at different temperatures between 190 and uh, 270 and you see that the, the value of the plateau changes and the correlation between the plateau and the shear fitting uh, which is subject of this uh, famous formula of Caro um, is also observed here. Um, that's all I wanted to say for these three slides.